Welcome back. Uh, nice to see you again. Appreciate um, it. Good to see everybody. Obviously, uh, there's been a lot going on this spring. Coaching change you didn't see coming, working with new coaches and stuff. So just as an experienced guy, as an older guy, that was going to be relied on to be a leader anyway going into it. You're probably the oldest guy on the team, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what's the transition been for you? And have you tried to be, you know, kind of that older influence for maybe some of the younger guys who hadn't gone through one of these things before? Um, yeah, this is my fourth different coaching staff now. So um, definitely a vet in that area. So just uh, helping some of the guys, the uncertainty. It's it's difficult sometimes to not know what's coming. And, you know, especially in our um, profession, and what we do right now is um, we want to be prepared. We want to have a plan and we want to execute the plan. So when that plan isn't, you know, right in front of you and available, um, some guys get a little anxious and nervous. And I've been through it before. So just being able to provide some, calmness and just reassurance those guys everything's gonna be fine everything's gonna work out and we're gonna be in good hands in the end jake obviously you know you had you were had a connection with alex bullish last year you know you talked about coming back you made the decision to come back for a sixth year with the coaching change and everything what went through your mind during all that when they when the, when the previous staff left and 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 you were kind of maybe in a limbo there what was going through your mind about that decision and did you think about maybe actually maybe leaving and, and, and going off to the maybe possibly nfl um that thought really didn't cross my mind um i think i still have a lot to work on in my game um personally and also I, we have a lot of unfinished business here last year isn't the way i'd want to end my career here i want to end it in front of night nation and not having the fans and having a normal season played into my decision a lot, but also the guys too. Um, I want to be here for the guys, and the young guys, the old guys. I want to end my career with the guys that I started with, and I want to be somebody that the young guys can count on this year moving forward. So that was a lot of my decision. Jake, now that the new coaching staff is here and you're through two weeks, almost three weeks of spring ball, what has it been like working with uh, tight ends coach Brian Blackman and head coach Gus Malzahn? It's been awesome. Unfortunately, I've been out for a little while with COVID, so I, I didn't get a full gist of the practices, but I'm kind of getting back in shape now and getting back in the swing of things. And so far, it's been awesome. It's very organized. Um, you know, they, they know what they're doing. Coach Malzahn, he's pretty much almost perfected the whole practice. Um, it's very efficient. So that's, that's what I have to say about that. Jake, I know you said you hadn't been out there as much as you would have liked, but as far as you and the tight end position in this offense under Gus Malzahn, do you kind of have a vision for how he sees you fitting into it? Or how do you think you kind of fit into his offense? Maybe is it different than where you would have been in Hypo's offense? We're going to be all over the field. We're going to be in a lot of different positions. We're going to be in line in the backfield, split out. Um, we're going to be able to do a lot of different things, too. We're going to block in the perimeter. We're going to you know, get a chance to catch the balls all over the field, um, over the middle. Um, some screens and stuff like that. So we're kind of the jack of all trades and uh, we're just going to grow our role. You know, whatever our role is this year, whatever it may be, whatever we have to do to win, I think our, our room has that mindset and we're going to do whatever it takes. So. Jake, you got a couple of new guys on, on the tight end room as well. What if, I know you haven't had a chance to, to play with them on the field or anything, but what have you you've seen from those guys and, and what do you expect from them this upcoming season? Um, we've seen a lot out of the young guys. Um, Charlie Browder especially stood out. He's uh, been catching everything. Uh, he's a big, tall guy. He's a big target. So um, having him out there is going to give us a good red zone threat. And also um, everybody. I mean, everybody's working really hard right now. And this is a time, especially for the young guys and myself, where we get to hone our craft and really work on the little things. So this is a great time for everybody. Everybody's getting a lot of reps and working really hard. I'm very pleased with our group. Jake, how would you say like everyone's bought into all of all the changes? Obviously, a coaching transition happens when you really weren't expecting it, but it seems everyone is pretty excited about Coach Gus Malzahn and everything. I mean, what's been your perspective as an older guy? How have your teammates bought in? I think it really started even when Heifel left. Um, just everybody coming together instead of you know going to everybody's own way and looking out for yourself. Everybody really bought into each other, and that was one of the biggest things. We didn't even have a have a head coach. And we were working out and you know going over plays and stuff. That was one of the biggest periods for us because we got a chance to bond and really buy into each other. So no matter what coach came to this building, we were gonna be ready to work. And, you know, once spring started. 
Jake, I, I know you're, you're kind of close to Dylan. What, what kind of development have you seen from him? Especially you mentioned that time period where you guys did have coaching staff around. What kind of leadership role did he take on in that time period? And what have you seen from him over the last three or four months? He's taken a big leadership role, especially after Hypo left. He was the one who was constantly texting all the group chats, um, making sure everybody was okay, seeing if they need anything, making sure everybody's getting their work done, getting extra work. And even once Coach Malzahn came in, he was always the positive voice in the room. You know, this is our guy. We, we're going to get behind him. Always just positive reinforcement for everybody so that everybody could buy him. Because everybody looks up to him in the end. He's our quarterback. He's QB1. Um, so whatever he says, he's going to have a big influence in the team. And I think that he's done a great job with his influence. Jake, I know you mentioned uh, Charlie Browder a moment ago as far as like a young guy standing out. But is anyone else maybe on offense? Or is anyone maybe having a, a good spring thus far? Um, like I said, it's been tough for me to get a full view. I've been in meetings on Zoom a little bit, but I'm really just happy with our group as a whole, our whole offense. Um, you know, the young guys have come out and worked really hard. Um, I can't really think of anybody off the top of my head right now, but it just that's a positive thing because there's been so many that, you know, it's just tough because everybody's playing good right now, and it's a new system. So I'm extremely happy with the way that people have been picking it up and learning it. And, you know, it's only going to get better from here, so. Jake, you, you mentioned, touched on this a little bit ago, you know, uh, this last season with everything going on with COVID and the pandemic and the stops and starts that, that some people have, you guys felt like there's some unfinished business here. Do you feel like, you know, you wanted to come put together a, a solid season after what happened last year? Yeah, especially myself. Um, and I know a lot of the older guys, like we've been so grateful for Night Nation and the fans and for being behind us. And I know, especially some of us kind of felt like we let everybody down last year. Um, it wasn't our best season. You know, there's plenty of excuses on the board, but at the end of the day, we're not going to look at any of those. And it just comes down to us executing in the long run. And we just have to do a better job this year. And I think that our mindset right now is, you know, putting us on a good trajectory towards that. So. Okay. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one.